assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's video is on how to make a baby side pleated ruffle hijab then if you are just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to my channel and don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified for more hijab videos multiple videos so for this tutorial i'm going to be working with my leftover fabric from my last tutorial you can check my video on that to understand more then if you don't have this if you are using a normal fabric you need about 32 inches by 40 inches fabric so the first thing you are going to do is just to fold your fabric into two after which you are going to fold into four then at the folded edge you're just going to take four inches for the edge circumference Then if the baby head is wider, you can take four, four and a half inches. Then from there, you're just going to make a slant line to the last edge of the fabric from the four inches point. After which, you're just going to cut it out. And then you open up the head circumference, which is the upper hand there. So that's if you are using the normal fabric. Then coming to my leftover fabric now, the first thing I'm going to do to it is just to fold it diagonally. The fabric is in fold. So I'm just going to fold it diagonally. So after folding it this way, I'm just going to come to the point where I have 4.5 inches. And that place will be for the head opening. Then I'll come to the folded edge and I'm going to take 16 inches there. Then from the 16 inches point, I'm just going to make a curve to the other side of the fabric. After which I'm going to trace out my line. So I've just opened it up now. So this is what we're going to have. If you use normal fabric, you will eventually have this also. Then I have a foam of 10 inches by 3 and a half inches. So I'm just going to cut it to form my hijab cap. I'm making a curve there. After which I'm going to cut it out. Then I'm just going to place it on my fabric that is in fold and I'm going to trace out. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to open it up, place the foam in between the fabric and I'm going to pin down. Then while pinning I'm making sure that I'm not having excess fabric at the front parts. So after pinning, I'm just going to stitch about half an inch, half an inch on it. Then for my remaining fabric, I just cut out a fabric of two and a half inches by about 15 inches. So I cut about five pieces of it. So I'm just going to join this together to form a ruffle. Right side facing each other. So this is for my hijab cap. And I joined the side of my main hijab. So I'm just going to get the midpoint of it. Then I'm going to attach my hijab cap to it right side facing each other so i'll just pin that so i'll pin it all around so after pin this is what we're going to have so turn it to the right side i'm just going to stitch that part then i'm going to fold the remaining part twice I'm going to stitch it also. So after doing that, I'm just going to come here. I'm going to come down by 5 inches. Then at the other side also, I'll come down by 5 inches. So what I'm just going to do now is just to form pleats. From the last edge of the joint part to the 5 inches points. So I'm just going to form pleats then. 
and I'm going to secure it by stitching on it. Then I joined my pieces together to form a ruffle already, so I have a long strand for ruffle. So this is for my pleated side. So I formed my pleat already. So the next thing is just to attach a ruffle to the jar piece. So I'm just going to place the ruffle there, then I'm just going to start forming pleats. You can use my normal ruffle forming pattern if that's easier for you. But I just decided to form something else. So I'm just going to be forming the plates and I'm going to be pinning it down. After which, I will take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to secure the plates. So I'm just forming plates. So you should have something like this so you just continue to form it so you get to the last so you just continue forming plates and it's gonna look like that so this is the finished look of a hijab so the next thing I'm just going to do just to end the lower parts and then I'll overlock the inside to give it a finishing touch so I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video inshallah.